Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today I have something for you which is a printed 18650 battery holder which is made out of these parts as you see here. The holder itself, the, I call them feelers to get into the holder. Will it focus? Yes, they will go in like this and this. This is 3D printed and you can get the designs from Thingiverse. I will link them in the description. I uploaded them there because I have not found anything like this on Thingiverse. The reason is uh, manifold, as they say, I guess. It will look like this when it's when you assembled it and it's quite easy you take a, a nickel strip I have these still from my battery that I built in the last video and um, you just wrap them around you know you push them through wrap them around like this and that's That's it. You align this and then you take your battery like this. Place them there. Make a bit of room. Wait, wait, wait. Camera. There you have it. That's the thing I designed. You see it? It's not straight anymore. It's because it has a bit of springiness and it needs to to just adapt um, for the feelers they, where you can put your whatever you want charger you can use it for whatever it can deliver all the amps or current you want in there and there is a variation which came to my mind just printing these out you can also bend it, that doesn't look professional, I know, but who cares? It's just for my entertainment and now yours. You can put them together like this and it's quite easy to do it. You just bend them as they would be and you insert it. And then you can have a 2S battery system. That's quite easy, isn't it? You can print them yourself for your 3D printer. I actually um, made these because I have a charger which you have seen um, I guess in the battery video which is this one here and fortunately or unfortunately I wanted to make a video about this charger Yes, but I can't. Um, the problem is not manifold, but um, it is made for RC use only. And um, the Li Ion cells this described here, I cannot discharge them to their capacity, which is um, 2.5 volts. It will only allow me to discharge the, discharge them to 2.9 volts and um, then I cannot test the whole battery and everything which comes with it. So I wrote the company if they may update their firmware that I can discharge my batteries as they should be and as they, it's recommended to let me discharge them till 2.5 volts. Well. Other than that, that's all for this video and um, I hope you enjoyed and build your own because they are quite nice and work. I um, tried them. So have a nice evening. Bye bye.